They said that one of the blue zones is located in Sardinia I believe was somewhere on the west part So I am on the quest to find this place and live there With the idea to be in better health, live longer and travel more I just arrived in the port of Napoli, Neapol let me explain you why when i planned my trip i got an idea to get a ferry from palermo to sardinia but then i realized that uh, this ferry is only once per week on sunday and because i didn't want to wait so long i decided to get another ferry from palermo to napoli and now i'm gonna ride around 300 kilometers north to Cevita Vecchia and I'm gonna get another ferry from Cevita Vecchia to Olbia, Sardinia and from there I'm gonna start my uh, trip around Sardinia I will basically make a big loop like this before I hit to Corsica sometimes we need we need just to adjust regarding to the to the current situation I do not have any plans to spend any time in, in Napoli I will use the GPS to guide me out of the city as quick as possible and then I'm gonna stop somewhere make a breakfast have coffee and stuff like that but yes the, the changes are necessary and uh, uh, we do what we got to do to continue our trip in the last 30 kilometers I got nothing to film because it was highway just to get me out of Napoli and now I've got this traffic jam uh, we'll see I choose the, the road that is going next to the sea to avoid the highways but it might not be very good idea I'll check later when I left Napoli port early morning I decided to use the coast road but very quickly I realized that it was very busy a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic lights and roundabouts and it doesn't matter how fast I was riding and how many cars I was overtaking it was just madness because uh, it was always the same so instead of that I decided to get one alternative road going through the mountains more or less crossing many small Italian towns historical towns and villages like this one that I've got now and extend my road maybe with 100 kilometers but that's fine because the ferry from Cevita Vecchia is 11 o'clock in the evening so I plan more stops, more places like that and to have more fun ah look at these streets nice isn't it I'm looking for historical center uh, but I couldn't find it okay whatever I just need a place to stop and relax for a while hey beautiful stairs this looks like a good place to stop all right I killed let's say one more hour but I still have so many so I have to stop at least three four times more and still will have time this road looks like very popular for motorcycle riders because I have seen at least 10 so far and I just been started
hit the jackpot with this road without even know I, I saw it on the map that it's curvy but I didn't know that it's so well it's like I don't know 20 kilometers road like this going higher excellent This road is fantastic and I have again this smell of linden trees from everywhere This is Archinato, another point on my route This is what I need. Torante, pizza. Uh, where is the most shade? Maybe here. Maybe here. This will be my lunch. Pasta bolognese and pork. Just because it was Italian restaurant. It doesn't mean that the food will be perfect. It was not. It was somehow acceptable, but not really what I needed or what my test was uh, telling me. But anyway, I ate. I'm good now. I can continue. At least the, the place was good and the views from here are worth it. Here now in this valley became hot like an oven. 36 it shows but I think it's, it's more. Still not react properly. I knew it that it's not correct. 38. It just needs more time. This is Bracciano. From here I have exactly 50 kilometers to uh, Civita Vecchia. What time it is? 20 to 6. Still too early. So I plan to stop somewhere on the road on a nice shadow and relax after I spent all day riding on any kind of road stopping and drinking coffee eating coffees restaurants anything finally what time it is now 6 20 I still have a lot of time so I stop here in this uh, countryside the road actually is here I'm gonna relax for maybe an hour here just doing nothing, lying on the grass, stretch my legs, and then I will continue.
this was good the last 20 30 kilometers are just like a gift for the day the condition of the asphalt is not good as you can see but I really don't mind because I'm riding with 50 60 kilometers per hour time to time I'm standing on the pegs to release my boots so it's really enjoyable right before I jump into the ferry now even the road change brand new excellent Twenty kilometers to go. Cevita Vecchia. I saw the ferries from the top. Okay, arrived at the port. Let's board another ferry. Oh man, on this trip there will be one, two, three, four, like six ferries. Whatever. Whatever ferries, whatever. Finally, another ferry left and two more to go. 20 to 7 and I'm on my way down to the south. I'm gonna use the east coast mostly, whatever is possible. And then we'll see what will be later. It is 24 degrees now at the moment. Uh, I guess it will be more later in the evening, but it is what it is now. 90% of the time I'm gonna use this road SS125, which is straight ahead at the moment. It drops to 21 degrees, which is perfect for riding, but I'm sure that it's not gonna hold like this all day. It is still 7 o'clock. Of course, the asphalt, the road service is just great. Uh, what I read about Sardinia is that the East Coast, the one that I'm riding now, is more cultivated and the West Coast that I'm gonna ride tomorrow is more wild and uh, honestly I prefer the West but anyway I have to see the East as well so beautiful houses everywhere, quiet atmosphere, exactly what I have been expected. One quick tip, I just stopped on first supermarket, I bought water, prosciutto, two sandwiches and a few more things and now I'm gonna stop somewhere on the road on a beautiful view and make my breakfast because at the end if you're on budget every cost matters if I'm stopping on every coffee or every restaurant it will be really high price, especially here in Sardinia. These are Germans, I just met them. Finish pass! Bye bye! I just spoke with them. Traveling from Munich to here and from here back to Munich on bicycles. Crazy people. And they said about us motorcycle travelers that we are crazy. No way. This is mine for marble or some kind of stones looks very interesting they said that one of the blue zones you know blue zones where people live much longer than the rest of the world they said that one of the blue zones is located in Sardinia I believe was somewhere on the west part so I am on the quest to find this place and live there with the idea to be in better health live longer and travel more now nah, it was a, just a, a joke my mission is to ride this beautiful island or at least whatever is possible to ride for uh, two three days or whatever days i need weather conditions road conditions absolutely fantastic i'm very very lucky as usual 
bike handle everything like a blast nothing more to say I moved from the main road because I want to find a good spot to have a break and breakfast and this a little bit different environment not not on the road and yes I think that here will be just fantastic yes this will be the place this is the main road and this is the road that I got and stop here with one specific purpose instead of having breakfast over there on the famous coffee where all the bikers are I stopped in this remote dirt road bought my breakfast sandwich and this is prosciutto I'm gonna mix it and eat it and finish with one banana I think that this will be much much better in the fancy restaurants everywhere and I will really enjoy it